Many players have mixed feelings about Belisarius Prime with a lot of people leaning pretty negative, but they haven't even seen any in-game battle reports yet. And since he's not in the game yet, what we're going to do today is the next best thing. And that is going to be taking a look at some pre-release battle reports with the new updated Rise of Kingdoms battle simulator that also includes an all new mode that measures AOE damage and swarm damage. So if you guys haven't played around with the battle simulator, later before we're going to be taking a look at a lot of the new things that it has to offer and of course this video would not be possible without it i'm not sponsored by the battle simulator but there will be a link down below if you guys are interested in getting it but before we jump in about 68 percent of you guys are not subscribed so click that button drop a thumbs up on it if you enjoy these pre-release videos and of course what's going on guys cheers okay now we're going to jump into the reports in just a second but there is one thing that i want to touch on briefly before we do that and that is the fact that belisarius prime did officially appear on the rise of kingdoms youtube channel and we got to see what he looks like in game no surprise he looks identical to how he did in the screenshots one thing i was curious about was his skills did they change anything about his skills from the pre-release screenshots compared to what's actually in the game which is still subject to official update by the way so they could always change this i don't think they will but all the skills look identical to how they looked in the official first look first reveal of the commander however there is one thing that is slightly different and that is the expertise it has the exact same wording except there's a little plus right here okay so maybe they saw my video where i talked about you know the confusing nature of that but it is confirmed that it is five or more troops surrounding you don't lose this sort of debuff or increased received damage if you swarm them with six or ten marches okay so just keep that in mind i'm glad that they actually clarified that okay but yes the rest of his kit is identical to how we saw it in the original skill reveal so unfortunately there were no typos at least not from what we could see so far okay with that out of the way let's quickly jump into the rock battle simulator and i want to give you guys a quick disclaimer i do this in every video where we use the rock battle simulator but these simulator results are not meant to replace actual in-game testing and of course i acknowledge that the simulator is not the best way to determine if a commander is meta or not for example with herman prime he didn't perform super well in the simulator but of course he's obviously open field meta for archers because he has a half circle aoe and his debuff is spread aoe it's a very very good commander and so of course 1v1 simulation duels are not the best way to tell if a commander is meta or not but because he's not in the game yet I think the simulator is a nice way to get a first look and to sort of set our expectations so we could see just how good he might perform when he comes into rise of kingdoms now there's two different modes of testing that I actually did for this round of commander release with Belisarius Prime first of all we did the standard dueling testing which again not the best way to see if a commander is meta but it does check to see you know what is sort of the dps capability and tanking capability in a 1v1 scenario sort of right i think that does matter somewhat in open field fights now of course typically you're going to connect and disconnect to targets pretty rapidly in open field fights whereas this simulator checks like a long sticking to a target for a long period of time which isn't typically how you fight but it is nice to see how a commander can perform in a duel but the other game mode that was recently implemented by speco the creator of the rock battle simulator is a sort of test dummy aoe scenario now if you guys have played games like world of warcraft for example you'll be familiar with the training dummy okay now these are basically just targets that you can hit that don't hit you back and you can use that to sort of measure your dps or your damage per second and it sort of just gives you a baseline as to like what your best rotation might be okay it's not meant to like replicate actual in-game fighting but if you want to compare like one set of gear to another set of gear it's kind of just a nice way to get a generic baseline and in the rock battle simulator speco has implemented a similar game mode as you might imagine it's called combat target dummy and you basically just hit either generic cavalry archers or infantry with a generic secondary and they have some generic stats here some generic active skills and the cool part about the simulator is that if you want to just simulate a 1v1 dps you can do that or you can also add surrounding troops so if you want to have a certain number of your armies surrounding a target then you can change this number from one or two or three or four and it will just send generic tier five siege to swarm down that target dummy and the reason that you would want to do this is because well for example example with Belisarius's active skill he gains bonuses if the target is surrounded okay same thing with his expertise but you can also change these support units to be attacking you 
if you want to so you can change them from attacking left side to right side okay so now it would be the generic units hitting the huo belisarius and the reason that you would do this is because the simulator will now calculate the amount of generic aoe damage that you could be doing if you were to use an actual aoe commander like joan of arc or like william or like juan cpo something like that now again this is just to get a generic baseline of aoe damage and dps so you can see the value of the aoe of course in game of course it matters what targets you're hitting how many troops they have left what equipment they're wearing armaments all that stuff okay so i'm not gonna sit here and claim like this is the most accurate thing in the world but remember it's just a combat target dummy so you can compare the dps of one march to another march that's really all it is and we're going to take a look at some of those test results later in the video and by the way you can change how long you want this duration to be if you want to hit the target dummy for three minutes five minutes 50 minutes whatever you want to do and so that is the game plan one thing that i want to go over really quick is sort of the stats that we're going to be going over here okay i assumed that they have 230,000 troop capacity for both sides i assumed both sides would get about eight percent of each stat from their armaments and then i assume that each side picked up a seven percent attack and defense rune so that's why you see the attack and defense are higher here i also assume that both sides would have a five percent skill damage city skin unless we were going up against something like liu che alex in which case i changed it to 13 percent health zero percent skill damage where skill damage was relevant i was using ottoman empire where it wasn't for infantry i was using france and then of course both sides have no special talents on their legendary gear because i think that's a little bit more realistic for the average player but all of their gear did have an iconic crystal in it as you can see here and we did use the horn and ring for pretty much everything also we assumed that we're in the kbk season of conquest map so you've got the extra all damage and attack from max crystal tech with all of that out of the way let's jump right into the battle reports and first off i did huo primary with belisarius secondary and we tested against nevsky joan i like to test against nevsky joan first because this is such a popular open field pair and lots of players have it it's been around for a while and it still performs pretty well we did six rounds for each of these test results and you can see the first one we have a hundred thousand remaining for the huo belisarius an insane victory for the belisarius secondary you could see more than double the sev wounds on the other side which is kind of crazy second report the huo belisarius won again with 86k remaining again double the sev wounds next report we see huo belisarius clean victory 98k remaining more than double the seven wounds again next report we have 93k remaining fifth report we have 108k remaining and sixth report we have 91k remaining all of these basically a two to one seven wound trade actually insane so huo belisarius claps nevsky joan and this is absolutely no surprise here of course Kuo Belisarius has a lot of single target damage, whereas Joan would mainly be dealing a lot of AOE damage. And so from a dueling perspective, you would expect Huo Belly to perform really well here, whereas Nevsky Joan doesn't really shine in a dueling scenario. So again, not surprising, but Huo Belisarius does win cleanly and is far and above better at dueling than Nevsky Joan. Let's move on to the second pair that we tested, which was Huo Joan. And I think Huo Joan, just like Nevsky Joan, is not a great dueling march, but it should perform better because Huo deals more damage than Nevsky with his active skill. And he pops it pretty quickly at the beginning of the fight when you have the most troops. So let's see how this goes. The first report, 78K remaining for the Belisarius. So a clear win for Belisarius here. Second report, 89K remaining. Third report, we have 88K remaining fourth report we have 90k remaining fifth report we have 85k remaining and the final report 91k remaining basically the same i think the huo performed maybe slightly better the nevsky had a few 100k remaining reports for the belisarius the huo did not so i think huo joan in a dueling scenario did perform a little bit better which is what we would expect but it still got absolutely clapped and they are using again the same equipment the same talent builds everything so everything is accounted for here the Huo Belisarius gets a very clean and impressive victory moving on to the next set of reports I wanted to test against Huo Minamoto which is a pretty well-known dueling march right Minamoto deals a lot of single target damage and he has the debuff on the fourth skill plus he has his relic tons of stats here for Huo who already has a lot of stats and you can see the Huo Belisarius is a clean victory 73k remaining second report 100k remaining third report 85k remaining fourth report 78k remaining fifth report 83k remaining and 
the final report 78k remaining so once again clear victory for the huo belly even going up against a pretty good dueling army for cavalry moving on to the next report i wanted to bring out what is arguably the best dueling march for cavalry huo nevsky a lot of players use this especially if you're a newer free-to-play player you don't know who to invest in players just got nevsky then they got huo i personally tried huo nevsky this is a little bit of a tangent i tried it in one of my altar fights i thought it was okay it wasn't as crazy as players were saying it would be i still prefer like the nevsky joan huo william that's just me but i wanted to see how it would do in this dueling scenario again remember same gear same talent builds and everything you could see 32k remaining for the huo belly we have 25k remaining for the huo belly we have 42k remaining we have 30 5k remaining then we have 30k remaining and 43k remaining so the huo nevsky did perform the best out of all these marches for the 1v1 duel but the huo belisarius is so far the king of cavalry dueling we have not seen a single march outperform the huo belisarius from a dueling perspective so in that regard it looks like belisarius is going to perform really well in scenarios where he can stay connected to the target for long periods of time and in open field fighting that doesn't really exist but that should give us a good idea as to how he might perform in let's say secondary to a garrison or secondary to a rally now there is some lack of synergy with his skills with rallies because you have to be hitting a target on the map to get the 30 percent skill damage which a garrison is not so you know from a rally perspective there might be a little lack of synergy there but as a secondary in the garrison he actually might perform really really well based on how good he is in these dueling scenarios the longer the duel goes on the more it seems like belisarius really does pop off so I started with cavalry because they kind of have no type advantage here but now we're going to go up against some archer marches and of course cavalry should be beating archers pretty easily and here you can see that Huo Belly versus Zhuge Liang Herman is what we tested next of course full skill tree build on the archers six piece set bonus we have of course Ottoman and all the other things that we covered earlier in the video and you could see that the Belisarius wins with 57k remaining second report the Belisarius wins again 44k remaining third report 64k remaining fourth report 113k remaining this is a bit of an outlier here more than double the seb boon trade this must have gotten like insane procs of the ring and horn or something like that fifth report 73k remaining and sixth report 65k remaining so surprisingly it seems like huo belisarius should be performing better against the archers than it did against the cavalry right because there is a type advantage here however that does not seem to be the case and that's probably because the juge leong is just so powerful this is such a good march now again this is a double aoe march one of them is a supporting commander right so like this is not a good example of how good Juge Leong Herman is in the open field, but from a dueling perspective, Huo Belisarius is going to win every single time, it seems like. But this is where things start to change. Next, we go up against Boudica Juge Leong and here's the thing about Boudicca Juge Leong typically this March performs really well in the dueling simulator because Boudicca has some healing there there's a lot of single target things that Boudicca just I mean she makes the target take more skill damage there's a ton of stats on this army right so this is a really good dueling pair but you still would kind of expect the Huo Belisarius to win because it's built for dueling and it counters archers and then here we see a loss there's 14k remaining for the Boudicca Juge Leon. Now you could see that the Sev wounds were almost the same, right? Because there's a lot of healing on the Archer March here. Um, the power loss was almost the same. It's it's pretty even trade, but really because of the healing, the Boudicca Juge Leon actually survived. Moving on to the next battle report, we see a victory for the Huo Belisarius, of course only 8k remaining but definitely more sev wounds taken from the Boudicca Juge Leong because of that healing factor third report we see another loss for the Belisarius we got 25k remaining for the archers less sev wounds for the archers as well moving on to the fourth report we see another win for the archers 27k remaining and moving on to the fifth report we see Belisarius pulls out a victory here with 16k remaining and fewer sev wounds so definitely a, a victory and then the final report we see another win for the Boudicca Juge Leong so once again I gotta say Boudicca Juge Leong very good in duels so it's not that surprising but it kind of is when you consider that Huo Belli is supposed to be built for dueling now again I mean the healing on Boudicca is really like what separates her from everyone when it comes to dueling the healing is very overpowered for 1v1 duels but man I was really hoping to see Belisarius clap this Boudicca and it really didn't happen which is kind of shocking next we went up against Liu Che Alex okay 
and here's the thing cavalry lose to infantry right infantry counter cavalry and so you would expect the infantry to do really well here especially because Liuche Alex is very good in the open field we've got some instant proc single target damage on Alex massive amounts of smite damage here and again I changed to France this is the talent build that I used and we removed the skill damage city skin put on a five percent infantry health skin and the Belisarius won here we have less sev wounds and 43k remaining moving on to the second report we see 51k remaining for the belisarius definitely a clear victory here the next report 61k remaining with fewer sev wounds the fourth report the luce alex actually wins okay with fewer sev wounds 23k remaining and moving on to the fifth report we see a very close fight but the belisarius wins again and then the final report a clear victory for the huo belisarius so this is kind of shocking one thing that we know from this is that the liuche alex isn't really a great dueling march the reason that liuche alex performs so well in the open field is because you're constantly connecting and deconnecting with targets and that causes alex's instant proc to just get you a bunch of bonus damage that the enemy just doesn't have a chance to get because they didn't fire their skill shot in the exchange and so the liuche alex performs extremely well in real world testing and this simulator includes alexander the great's relic by the way but in a long fight 1v1 duels you would expect the infantry to win here it actually doesn't the huo belly pulls out a clear victory for what five out of the six here i mean one of them was pretty close almost a tie but like man elisarius surprisingly good so far next we step it up to the cpo liuche who is arguably the best infantry commander pairing for open field fighting right now and you could see the first report was a victory for the CPO Liu Che, of course, 46k remaining, a clear victory. Moving on to the second report, we see very close, but a slight victory for the Belisarius. Okay, we have 6k remaining and a little bit less on the Sev wounds. Really shocking stuff here. Moving on to the next report, we see a super victory from the CPO Liu Che. And this is where you can kind of see that the RNG of like the horn and the ring and the amount of times that the fourth the expertise procs on Liu Che, lots of RNG in these things, right? But huge victory for the CPO Liu Che. Moving on to the next report, huge victory from CPO Liu Che, 52k remaining. Moving on to the last report, 36k remaining for CPO Liu Che. So it won five out of the six, and all of them were pretty clear victories, especially the 76k. So it's good to know that the best infantry pairing will beat the best cavalry dueling march most of the time with a good margin of, of, of victory and it's also worth noting that CPU Liu Che isn't necessarily built for dueling either this is a double AoE pairing and so this pair will perform even better in the real world so this is kind of what we would expect I would almost expect it to do better though right I would expect it to have like maybe like an average of 70 or 80k remaining every single time but I mean this single target punch from Huo Belly is quite impressive and then finally I wanted to test against Guan CPO because again this is not a dueling pair but it's still a pretty well known and well used infantry pairing and it does have some nice damage nice skill damage now for this pairing specifically I did change back to Ottoman Empire with a five percent skill damage city skin because I think that makes sense for the infantry and here you can see the first report 129k remaining for the Huo Belly second report 138k remaining third report 98 k remaining fourth report 108k remaining fifth report 126k and the final report 111k so guan cpo should be countering doesn't counter again it's not a dueling march but man it loses by an absolute metric ton which is just crazy you've got the silence on the guan you would expect that to do something against the huo belly's you know massive skill damage but man huo belly is just lapping in these 1v1 duels but like I said before 1v1 duels aren't a great way to test to see how a march is actually going to perform in the open field so okay now we know that Hula Belisarius is a really good 1v1 dueling march it really really is and that's good information to know but that's not how actual open field fighting typically works so now let's go ahead and run some of the new testing features that the battle simulator has to offer and so what we're going to be doing for the first few reports is we're going to have four supporting marches surround the target okay so this means that Belisarius's active skill and expertise are going to get the most amount of value that they possibly can get and in all these scenarios I go up against infantry by the way which is kind of the worst case scenario for us just so that way I'm not being overly generous but I ran all of these tests for a total of six minutes okay and in those six minutes of constant fighting, you could see that the damage per second 
for the Huo Belisarius was 10,500. That's really high. And the overall damage done was 3.7, almost 3.8 million damage done in six minutes. Here you can see the amount of skill damage that was done. The amount of AOE obviously was none because Huo Belly doesn't do any AOE. Here you can see the normal attack damage. And of course, if you add this and you add this, you should get your total overall damage. You also see your counter attack damage just out of curiosity, in case you were wondering there. And then we have a couple of other stats down here. So what I want to do is compare the sort of damage per second and total damage dealt in a six minute period for various scenarios so this is kind of our baseline right huo belly is what i think a lot of players are going to run if they are going to use belisarius in the open field so let's see how this compares to other marches right these numbers are kind of useless if we don't know like what's the damage per second of nevsky joan the damage per second of you know who william like should you replace william for belisarius based on damage per second let's find that out so we're going to take a look at all that but the other thing that i wanted to check would be the justinian with belisarius combination right because this was a combo that i talked about in my most recent video that some players might run okay and here you could see that the damage per second and the total damage dealt by justinian belisarius which by the way this is the talent build that i went with here for open field fighting i don't know if that's what most players use but that's what i went for in this six minute test and you could see that the huo belly puts out 10 you know 2000 more damage per second way more as like 25 percent more damage per second okay and overall damage dealt is way higher for the huo belisarius so take with that what you will the justinian belisarius even though it is also a single target damage you know commander pairing it's going to output way less damage you don't have the skill tree and a lot of justinian skills in the open field really are just stats right so it's kind of a vanilla stat stick you're not doing that many fancy things here so you can see the damage total damage and damage per second goes down by quite a bit when you replace the huo for justinian but what happens if we check the huo with nevsky right because that's another pairing that again it's a single target damage machine and also Nevsky's active skill benefits if the target is surrounded right you'll get more defense reduction and so I did the testing once again here and you could see 10,300 damage per second and 3.7 million overall damage dealt in the same time frame and so what we can see here is that if we compare the Huo Nevsky to the Huo Belisarius the Huo Belisarius actually has slightly better damage per second and as a result of course it has slightly better total overall damage now why would this be the case well both Nevsky and Belisarius have a bonus to skill damage but Belisarius has 100 extra damage factor and he also has the 500 instant proc right so slightly more damage per second that kind of overcomes the bonus that you would get from the Nevsky right the Nevsky has the increased defense reduction which you would expect to output more damage but it actually it kind of balances out right Nevsky has slightly less raw damage because he doesn't have the instant proc but he's going to be dealing more damage to the target because they are debuffed right and also keep in mind that the Huo Belisarius has more attack and less health so it it would make sense that it would deal maybe a little bit more damage so if you're looking for a single target damage machine then Huo Belly is as good or slightly better than the Huo Nevsky pairing which shouldn't really be that surprising all right so those were the three pairs that I wanted to test where the target was being surrounded now what I want to do is test the amount of damage that you could theoretically be dealing with AoE commanders okay and then compare that to the Huo Belisarius so in the next few examples what we're going to be doing is having the sort of generic units swarming the player's perspective okay so in this scenario we have generic infantry and siege five marches swarming down the huo belisarius and we could see that the damage per second is way higher and the overall damage dealt is way higher remember the huo belly from a single target perspective dealt you know 3.7 something million total damage and about 10,500 damage per second here we see 17,500 damage per second and 6.3 million overall damage dealt in the same six minutes and why is this so much higher well you're dealing counterattack damage to all the four marches that are hitting you here so it is not surprising at all that your damage would be way higher for this scenario but keep in mind that in a real fight that means you're going to be taking damage from four of the marchers and in reality you get swarmed down really really quickly but the downside of this is that there's no aoe here so in theory you could be hitting these targets with aoe if one of these commanders was aoe but it's not so let's see how huo belisarius compares to huo joan in the same scenario it's a big difference guys it's a big difference okay the huo joan is 
still being swarmed by five targets but now you're hitting them all with aoe well joan is only hitting three targets with her aoe but still you're dealing 23,200 damage per second and 8.3 million overall damage dealt so that's a very big jump in overall damage and this should give you guys an idea as to why aoe damage is so good in rise of kingdoms and why it is the meta this is the Huo Belisarius. And again, we have the Huo Joan jumps the damage up to 8.3 million. It's kind of nuts. Next, let's test with Huo William, right? Because of course, Joan is very good, but is it going to be worth it from a DPS perspective to replace William with Belisarius in this, you know, in this hypothetical example? And here we could see the answer would be no. Okay. Because again, we have the Huo William hitting all, well, three targets with AOE. And you could see the damage per second is 22,300 and the overall damage done is 8 million. So slightly lower than the Huo Joan, which we would expect. Joan is just a slightly better AOE commander. She's got a higher damage factor for one. And it also double procs every other skill cycle most, most of the time. But William still performs really well here, right? And this is what I've been telling people for a while is that William and Joan, I mean, Joan definitely better here, right? 8.3 million compared to 8.03 million from William. So Joan definitely better than William as a secondary, but it's still really good. William's still a great secondary. Okay. So here we could see that the Huo William compared to the Huo Belisarius in the exact same scenario is going to perform, well, the Belisarius is going to perform much worse. Clearly it's way less damage done. It's way less damage per second. So hypothetically speaking against this test dummy, replacing the William with Belisarius is not going to be worth it. That's what we can see from these results. So then I wanted to compare it with some other well-known marches, right? We have Nevsky Joan. How good does Nevsky Joan perform? Well, we see that we've got 22,600 damage per second and 8.1 million overall damage dealt so if you're watching this video and you're wondering is nevsky joan better or is huo joan better well here you can sort of have a baseline idea this is the nevsky joan and this is the huo william and again back to the nevsky joan so the nevsky joan outputs more dps and has more overall damage than the Huo William, but then we could test Nevsky William, right? Let's take a look at what Nevsky William can do. And we see 21,800 DPS and 7.8 million overall damage dealt again, same six minutes. And the Huo Joan had 23,200 damage per second and 8.3 million overall damage dealt. So I know we're kind of going off on a little bit of a tangent here, but just for my own curiosity, I was wondering, should you do the Nevsky Joan with the Huo William, or should you do the Nevsky William with Huo Joan, right? And if you're going to rank these, how would they rank? Well, it seems to be the case that the Huo Joan out of all the pairings, has the best overall damage and damage per second. So if you were going to build one army, it seems to be, and again, this is purely theoretical. This is theory crafting, right? But based on like this baseline testing, Huo Joan seems to be the highest damage per second of the AOE cavalry marches. Second place would be Nevsky Joan, of course. Third place would be Huo William and fourth place would be Nevsky William. So if you wanted to balance out these armies as best as you possibly can, then you would do Nevsky Joan with Huo William. But if you wanted one army to be clearly stronger and one army to be a little bit weaker, so for example, you have way better gear for one army than you do the other one, then you would want to min max that and you would want to do the Huo Joan with the Nevsky William. You'll get the most bang for your buck out of your better equipment, better armaments, things like that. Now we kind of went off on a tangent here. So going back to Belisarius, I tested Zangyu Belisarius, where again, we have the ability to hit targets with our AOE and we see 21,900 damage per second and 7.8 million overall damage dealt. That's actually really good for Zangyu Belisarius. Remember, this was the result from Nevsky William, 21,800 damage per second, 7.8 million overall damage dealt. The Zangyu Belisarius is performing slightly better, it seems, than the Nevsky William from a damage per second perspective. Now, again, a little misleading, right? Because Zhang Yu, when targeted, has his own self slowdown and there's really no tankiness on that army. So if you get swarmed, you will get hurt really bad. So this is kind of the definition of a glass cannon, right? So you're still gonna output a lot of damage compared to the Nevsky William, but you're not gonna have any of the tankiness that Nevsky brings, right? Nevsky has the health, his expertise has more health. He's got defense. He takes less damage from surrounded units, right? So lots of tankiness on Nevsky, not so much on Zhang Yu, but the damage output would still be the same. Now, the question is, do you run the Zhang Yu Belisarius or do you keep running Zhang Yu with, let's say, Justinian or with Honda? Well, we could do the Zhang Yu Justinian test and you could see that the damage output is definitely lower on the Zhang Yu Justinian than it would be for Zhang Yu Belisarius. Why is that? Again, Belisarius 
has yes a slightly lower damage factor but he has the instant proc damage when he's fighting in the open field and so it just makes sense he's literally dealing more damage kind of an open and shut case there plus he also has more cavalry attack which is what's going to work there nicely but the thing with this again is Zhang is very squishy so Justinian adds a little bit of tankiness so it's kind of a trade-off right you have lower damage per second with the Justinian but you'll be a little bit better of a better more well-rounded package and again this is a little bit misleading right because if we take a look at Zhang Yu Honda that's like by far the best performing March here right and that's because it's double AoE and you know we have 27,000 DPS and 9.8 million overall damage dealt we can compare that to Zhang Yu with Joan of Arc and you're going to see that is of course the best performing march out of all of them so again you you can kind of if we're just looking for the most glass cannon then zhang yu jonah bark is the way to go but really like you're not going to have a great time with this basically zero tankiness on this army at all so your mileage is definitely going to vary so theoretically it's the best dps but realistically you're going to get melted okay so let's do a quick recap as to what we've learned so far well first of all we've learned that huo belisarius is in theory the best dueling march for cavalry and we've learned that belisarius performs really well in long fights where he's hitting one target and so as a secondary to a garrison like a cab garrison for example he would have to be secondary because he has horrible talent trees he should perform really well there of course we'll have to wait and see in real world testing and we also don't know exactly how this expertise skill works by the way it's assumed to be the case that the target will take more damage from all units that is hitting that target it could be the case that it just takes 12 percent more damage from belisarius itself we we have no idea how that works until it comes into the game another thing that we've learned from this testing is that when we look at the aoe and swarming data it seems to be the case that it is not worth replacing joan of arc prime or william with belisarius in a scenario where you will be dealing aoe that's what we've learned from the baseline testing the william is still going to outperform from a dps perspective even though belisarius brings some utility he bring some more single target damage of course and a debuff and everything like that but if you're looking for damage then Belisarius is not going to make the cut for your open field fights again based on pre-release testing we have to see how he works in game another thing we've learned completely independent of Belisarius is that if you have two equal sets of cav gear and armaments then it would be best to run Nevsky Joan Huo William if you want to separate the and get the two best armies that you could get in that scenario which I think a lot of players were already doing but we've also learned that if you have like basically one really good set of cavalry gear and one worse set of gear and armaments then you'd probably be better off min maxing that and having the Huo Joan with the Nevsky William Nevsky William having your worst gear of course and that's probably going to work slightly better for you but as we saw from the data whichever army has Joan on it is probably going to perform slightly better unless the gear on that's way worse so keep that in mind and the final thing that we learned is that if you are going to use Belisarius in your open field lineups he would have to be probably your third army okay it's not worth replacing any of the other commanders that we've talked about well we've learned that the Justinian Belisarius would be probably the tankiest choice but you don't have any aoe there and so realistically i don't think that that's going to be a great open field march okay my initial impressions were that it has a lot of stats a lot of single target damage after looking at the data here it seems like justinian belisarius doesn't have enough damage to overcome the fact that it doesn't have aoe so from a rally perspective justinian belisarius might there might be something there we still have to wait and see but from an open field perspective it looks like zhang yu survives which is crazy he's like the guan yu of cavalry if you want a slightly tankier and more well-rounded open field march you would do Zhang Yu primary with Justinian secondary as your third cavalry march because again this has 30 percent cavalry defense 15 percent march speed outside of territory five percent cav damage outside of territory and 20 percent health 10 percent attack and a 2500 single target damage hit here but if you wanted to maximize your damage output then you would do Zhang Yu primary with Belisarius secondary and there's a little bit of a trade-off there first of all it has a debuff which is nice on the active skill you lose the cavalry health but you gain more attack and almost as much defense right the Justinian has 30 percent defense Belisarius has 25 but he also has the instant proc hit as well so overall my recommendation if you're if you're a cav main and you're 
you're gonna run three armies I think you run the Belisarius I think you run this Zangi Belisarius as your third March it might be slightly less tanky but it's gonna deal a lot more damage especially with the instant proc and the debuff will be nice there you could save your Justinian for just rallies exclusively so that's good to know if you're a Cav main then Belisarius is going to make it in your three March lineup but for everybody else even though he performed really well in the duels here even beating out Liu Che Alex the fact that he has no AoE really makes him like he, he doesn't take the place of Joan or William that is what we found out from the baseline testing of course you'll have to wait and see what he looks like actually in the game but that is my prediction this is a commander that will work really well for Cav mains running three or more marches but for everyone else probably not worth it you should just stick with what you have and realistically what cavalry already had was really good and the final thing to remember is that we still have yet to see the mightiest governor commander it's been teased on the official rise of kingdoms youtube channel it looks like it's going to be a woman which is pretty cool and like i said in my previous video the upcoming cavalry garrison commander could be cavalry's version of gorgo it could be a garrison commander that you could use in the open fields and cavalry historically don't suffer from the same slow issues that infantry has gorgo is very slow by herself so it still could be the case that the best pairing for belisarius has yet to be revealed and of course we will cover that on the channel as soon as they drop if you don't want to miss that make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time I upload a video while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it'll help get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it while you're down there comment down below your thoughts on Belisarius did these pre-release results shock you did you not expect him to beat the Liu Che Alex or were you shocked by just how much damage you could deal with the Zhang Yu primary a lot of the things that I discovered I learned a lot and I'm very happy to have done this testing because it's definitely going to help me figure out what I do with my marches but let me know in the comment section below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace